in. It's very important, okay? Because most startups, what they end up doing is telling you that the way to get your startup going is you've got to go to your friends, family, and the fools. And that is completely ridiculous because those people don't have any, basically, ability to step back and look at what they're investing in and they're really investing in you. And why would you want someone investing in you and not your idea? Right? So, so here's my offer. I am basically offering up 1 million of my 10 million shares that I have, just 1 million. And you'll see how these other 10 million will come in. I will, there will be no dilution. I'll make a commitment, zero dilution, okay? Um, and subsequent share releases at a million out of spots will be used to basically force exit um, of the original shares at a minimum of five to one return. You will be forced. What I mean is you will have an option to either take your money, which will be five to one, or take that investment and rebuy at the next level of shares. It's your choice, okay? No dilution, number one. Okay, so here's how it works. So it's very simple crowdfunding, crowdsourcing idea. Does it exist? I'm pioneering it myself. And the whole idea then, if it works for found ups, it will work for your startup. So it goes like this. I am offering 1 million shares at 10 cents a share. That's right. 10 cents a share, a million shares, is, is, equates to $100,000. Now, the referral program on top of this is a 60% referral program. What do I mean by that? So let's say you know someone that says, you know what, I, I really am interested in getting involved in startups. I've never really got involved. I've got some free money. You know, I, I really don't want to risk a ton, but you know what, $5,000, you know, maybe I have a net worth of a million or two. $5,000 is something that I don't mind risking, right? I, I play that in lottery tickets every year. I play that in, you know, betting on sports teams every month. So $5,000 for a five to one return, that's not a bad deal. Um, so in return for that referral, he gets 50,000 shares. Guess what? You get 30,000 shares. 30,000 shares, 60% of his investment as a thank you to you for crowdsourcing my project to someone you know that's looking to invest in something, right? Now, this 60% return is only good until I secure my $100,000, then it goes, and it'll never return again. So the whole point of this crowdsourcing 60% return is, yeah, I'm gonna give basically, out of the million shares, I'm gonna give 600,000 shares and potential referral out there. I have 10 million shares. So I'm giving out 1.6 um, million is not a big deal, right? Now, here's the key. So you're like, well, you may say, well, what's the valuation? What's this, what's that? Well, it's a fucking startup. You have no idea. I could come up with some figure. If I run Unoodle evaluation on FoundUps, guess what? By 2012, based on Unoodle, and I don't know what algorithm they use, FoundUps Corp is worth $24 million. Okay, that's just based on my team. Um, that's based on what I've done, based on you know the people following. If you go to Unoodle, there's lots of followers. I have like over 50 followers on it. If you go to Grow VC, I've got more followers. There's a lot of interest in FoundUps Corp because what I'm proposing is something completely new and something that does not exist right now, right? So the moment, the moment I crowdfund, so here's my, here's like one of the, the, the milestones to get your money back, your five to one. The moment that I crowdsource and crowdfund as a result of the sourcing, $100,000, guess what? Another million shares are released at 50 cents a share. There's your five to one return, right? As those shares are sold, and I don't care if they're sold or not, it doesn't matter, because what happens next is this. The moment the patent goes in, now that I have the $100,000, guess what? I can do the 
patent. I could do all the IP stuff. So now I have an intellectual uh, IP strategy in place. That's where most of the money is going to go to. That now what's going to do? It's going to increase the valuation. All of a sudden I have a patent pending on the open incubator framework. What do you think the value of the share is going to? Well, guess what? Now they're going to go to 80 cents. So if you would have bought the 50 cent shares, you would have got a three, you know, um, basically um, of the million shares that I release, you get a 30 cents per share profit. So every time I meet a measurable, specific, measurable, tangible milestone, I am arbitrarily raising the value of the stock of FoundUps Corp. I am setting it. It's a private company. I'm telling you what it is. The moment we secure our first uh, partner uh, for FoundUps Week, our first uh, partner, guess what? That's another major milestone. What do you think happens to the cost of the shares? They're going to go up. If you would have bought in at 50 cents, if you would have bought in at 80 cents, guess what? Now you're making 20 cents. If you're 50 cents, now you're making another 50 cents. Now, it's very simple. Specific, measurable, achievable milestones set the valuation of the stock, right? You start low, you crowdsource it, you crowdfund it, you get it to a specific level, um, and you force people out. In essence, I only want to have 10% of the company always out because as this more money comes in, I really don't have need for the money, all right? What happens is I take that money and I pay back the folks that invested early. So, um, you may say, well, that sounds great for the early birds. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I'm right now offering you a five to one plus return on your 100,000. You know what, and I don't even mind saying that, that, that we have 12 months to 36 months to basically give you an exit strategy. And I don't even mind saying that, I will personally guarantee, now, not at the five to one, but as at your initial investment, plus normal interest, we'll say 6%, I will basically buy you out personally with my money. So not only that, I'm saying, hey, you can crowdsource it in, get people investors in, earn equity. If those investors, for some reason, don't get their money in 36 months, Michael Trout will basically pay you back your $5,000 plus a basic interest rate, kind of like it's a loan at that end of 36 months. Now, um, maybe you're thinking this deal's too good to be true. It really isn't, there's risk. You know, obviously you wanna put money in it where you get the five to one return. I know, you know, in the job that I'm doing, um, you know, it, uh, the first found up week, understand the first found up week uh, event, found up corp is gonna make projected, again, it's a projection, uh, $269,000, that's the projected gross income. Now, found up corp gets 20% of that. So you do the math, we're doing 100 events. That's $6 million that we're looking to bring on that's enough to pay you back your five to one, right? So if I'm successful at each measurable milestone, in reality, I'll have controlling interest back in FoundUps Corp. By the end of next year, you will have your five to one return. So you put your $5,000 in, you just made $25,000 or plus. It may go, you know, if you keep investing that money into FoundUps Corp, ultimately you can make a significantly more money because you're just buying and then what we will do in the fall of next year, we'll do one of two things. One is, if I'm right with my projections and I have half a million people basically on FoundUps Corp, crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, team sourcing basically their ideas into startups and startups is getting 10% of those ideas every time they become a startup, right? When they transition from a FoundUp to a startup, and um, not only that, they have a festival that's netting every year with a probably a 30 to 60% growth, six million the first year, probably nine million the next year. You'll be very happy to have had the opportunity to see this presentation, said, you know what, Mike, this makes a lot of sense, and I'm going to be involved. And I've gone over my 10 minutes, which sucks.